Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley within broadcast. Joining me is Gina Harmonic. Great to see you. Uh, likewise, how are you today? Very good, thank you. So, Gene, what trends are you noticing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting industry right now? Uh, yes, I'll pick two. So, the first one has to do with uh, live sports, and we see our customers that do sports streaming um, using more and more single live event streaming as opposed to put the live games on a linear channel. So, that's, that's a trend that is growing. And I think you will see that more and more. That means that if you're a user, you don't need to watch a linear channel anymore. It's just a single pop-up event. And so Harmonic is coming up with a lot of features to help and simplify uh, basically planning and orchestrating those single live events. So we showcase that you know, on the booth this year. Um, the second trend has to do with the AI. You know? So obviously, there's a lot of hype. But what we show on the booth is uh, how Harmonic is using uh, different AI technology from machine learning applied to video compression to uh, AI-based detection, you know, uh, to optimize workflows, uh, to create channels and reduce the, the human labor involved. And as well, generative AI, the really true exciting generative AI to create new content that enhance the streaming user experience. So it's a trend, but it's also a reality, and it's only going to get you know better, more, you know, faster, you know, through the years. So so it's important that people see how it impacts our technology. Definitely. And so, what are you currently highlighting and showcasing here at an AB? Speak more on that. Uh, absolutely. So uh, on the booth uh, behind me, you have uh, basically how we organize the technology and demonstration that we bring this year at the show. So we have four pillars. Uh, production and play out, and then broadcast and distribution, uh, live sports streaming, and then monetization. For all those demos, you have either new features or uh, new capabilities, if you'd like, that we introduce to the market uh, that helps broadcaster in those fields, in those you know, verticals, uh, improve workflows and find efficiencies. And can you tell me more about your latest developments and who you might be targeting with your prospective use cases? Yes, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about monetization. So one thing that we introduced at the show is the notion of in-stream ad formats. So those are new ad formats that are used in uh, live sports in particular, where you go beyond the traditional ad break. Traditionally, sports is monetized with commercial breaks. Here you can stain the content and insert new uh, ad formats like a L-shape you know, squeeze or a double box. That means that the, the, user, the viewer is still watching the content and very likely to watch the commercial. So uh, we, we introduce those and we serve them server side. Um, this is totally integrated and compatible with the existing uh, programmatic advertising technology stack, which means that for uh, advertisers, it's very reassuring because we are not reinventing the wheel. They are in familiar territory. They know how to transact. And for the publishers, you know, the, the people who are streaming the content, it's a brand new inventory that they can unlock and boost the monetization of sports. Definitely. Very nice. So for those that want to know more, please check out their website. Thank you so much, Gene. Absolutely.